Pisces, always last but never least, welcome. Doing the heart spread, mid-August, my last heart spread. Thank you guys, I'll get this right, joining me. Um, this, um, the first uh, weekend now, this is the, um, what is today? The 14th, Friday the 13th yesterday, didn't scare me. And Saturdays, I should always say, are always um, Aquarius Pisces Day, okay, for the heart spreads. Right now, it's all doing, and I'm also doing though, the, the Soul Tribe read. If you haven't caught it, uh, it's in the, you know, my description and the, on the channel uh, with a content list, the Soul Tribe read, which I do uh, as a daily, and then on Fridays with a weekend read. Um, so that's just if you resonate, and I'm hoping to build up a Soul Tribe of people that do resonate for that daily reading. And right now, so I'm very committed to the heart spread, and I will keep these days. I like this a lot. Uh, uh, two signs every day, we'll do the whole zodiac every week, and always ending the week with Aquarius and Pisces. And um, the soul tribe, very important to me too, like the babies. I'll always be doing that in some fashion. Right now it's a four card draw. Right now we're going to concentrate on your heart spread. This is for the one that's on your mind, the one that's in your heart. That's what it's going to pick up on. You may be with them, you may not. You may be with one person and this picks up on another person. This is no judgment zone. Yeah, this is so I uh, want to be a hollow bone and so that really it's so your spirits can talk to you. If you pick up something, I think it's what it is. Spirit, name of love and light, so it serves the greatest good spirit. Can you give us some advice now for our Pisces friends and love and relationship for the mid August now? So, see you, Pisces, Knight of Pentacles, bringing it and uh, taking action. Mars energy might have a Capricorn Mars, might have Taurus Mars. And he's facing the reading. Um, seems to me this in the position of where your mind and heart is at in terms of love and relationship, um, you would be someone. I'd like to read this a little bit as you separate from the other person. We'll see in a sec. Um, you're someone that's very solid and uh, kind of in it for the long haul. And in terms of love relationship, you definitely wouldn't be looking for one night stands. You're, you're really not out to make any fast moves uh, you're not into um, really dating I would imagine even you know you're not the kind of person who get to joys like going out on date after date um, kind of serious here in your intentions cross watcher be advised serious in your intentions justice now your person's showing up where their mind and heart is at in terms of uh, relationships with this major arcana when I see it here showing up I believe it has a very powerful impact uh, it means they're going through some kind of big transit in their life, energy of some kind. See it in their chart uh, somehow. Jupiter comes to mind. It's, uh, you know, Venus is uh, still in Virgo. Uh, check that out. And Jupiter is now retrograding into Aquarius energy. Um, but they would be going through something in their life. I mean, and it could be, really could be a divorce, uh, most obvious thing. Um, but even if it is a divorce, uh, it's something bigger than that. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you're slow moving and you're probably not going to, uh, I don't know what the situation is now. I get the feeling you're checking them out. Um, um, my point here would be when someone's in this energy, um, it's a dicey time to start a relationship if that's what's going on. Because they, they may or may not see she's blindfolded right now and receiving justice. Uh, <clears throat> drawn to justice, so they, they may not know uh, exactly uh, how they're going to be, and I don't read the bottom of the deck in this, uh, how they're going to be when this is over. Um, but I, I love this card with the yin-yang down at the bottom. Yeah. But they're seeking balance, too, comes to mind. And the Knight of Pentacles is balance, so you would absolutely not tolerate something that was imbalanced. Tell you that. 
So this is uh, you once you're in the relationship. Wow. Four cups energy. Comes to mind with this card too, the hand of God there offering the cup uh, to you. I just saw they have the Amarita mushroom there <laughs> associated with the shamanic states. Uh, so it's like uh, there's a sense, I would think since this is you in the relationship, of yeah, there's something about this that seems compelling while they're on your mind. But at the same time, you're like holding back emotionally from this. And it comes to mind that you might have seen a red flag, like kind of what I was talking about. You're seeing that they're in this, maybe they're separated. Maybe they're separated and not divorced. And, and now energetically, that would very well describe their situation. They're in a process of change, transformation. They're moving from being a couple and to being single. And you're kind of maybe looking at that and emotionally withdrawing a little energy, saying, I, I don't know how much, you know, very practical Knight of Pentacles when they make their moves, why they succeed. They don't attack right away. They analyze everything very methodically, like a Virgo, and look at every little detail, and then they just take it apart. That's why they succeed. And you're seeing something that's giving you pause, giving you pause, Pisces. Now them in the relationship showing up now with Leo energy, but with strength. Reacting to you, I would say they reacted too strongly. It had the same thing in the other year. I hate to say it again, but this could have been like they came at you with I love you right out of the chute. And I imagine they feel that way. They have strength. She's looking right at your four cup, looking right at you. This is how you, I'm reading this. First house, seventh house. There's an astrology. This is you. This is your other person, okay? Um, now we're looking at how you're both reacting to each other. Look at the difference. They're all into you. You, uh, you're thinking about it. Not so much. Not so much. Because I guarantee you, your person doesn't have to feel the four cups energy. And I wanted to say it before. I wish I did. Because uh, uh, I was thinking of like a wand, like a knight of wands or something, or a page of wands coming in. Don't come out of knight of pentacles with fast moving energy. Don't do it. it it's probably going to be, well, I mean, I don't know, in a battle, maybe that's how they might go down. Um, but they ain't going to be happy about fast moving energy. You know, um, it ain't going to impress them. So you're in that state Pisces where it's somebody coming in fast and hot it's like shh, that, you know that's not impressing me take it down a notch so now the hermit this is uh, your advice from spirit in terms of this relationship I look at this as go inside guys because it's advice for you in the relationship there's something about yourself that's coming up here that you're not seeing um, you're, there's some shadow stuff that they're bringing in and I think that's maybe why you're reacting against it is because emotionally you don't want to deal with it in yourself there's something like maybe maybe it's not easy for you to be the knight of pinnacles you're Pisces very uh, sensitive and dreamy and everything and it takes a lot maybe for you to keep that down and be realistic and function in life and be this knight of pinnacles and so when someone else comes at you with it, you really hit it away hard. But that just comes to mind. Something like this, that this relationship, uh, because the hermit goes inside and looks at themselves. So this is not about you going and looking at them. Why did they say it so fast? Why are they so dreamy? Why are they so unrealistic? Why are they so Neptunian? Um, that kind of thing. But you're drawn to them. We're here we are having a reading. If you're still watching, you're drawn to them. <laughs> so their advice and the relationship girl <laughs> they're all about you man and their advice from spirit is the fool so if you're cross watching your advice is to go for it I don't know maybe they need to just keep their advice is to kind of keep pouring on the strength keep I mean this could be love bombing sure you know if you want to go that way with it I, I don't see any narcissist shit here but it's like love bombing and you're maybe kind of going, but their advice is 
pour it on, pour it on. Maybe you need this, you know? You know, the Knight of Pentacles needs to have fun. <laughs> uh, right, girls, they gotta have fun. They uh, lighten up a little bit, you know? This person wants to lighten up strength over the fool. That, what a different energy that they have. This is beautiful energy. I say, you know, you got, they got, now look at their energy compared to yours. They got the strength over the fool. Um, that's just go for it, beautiful, you know. Um, free and clear and strong and certain. If, there, if there's any doubt in Pisces about like, oh my God, will they go through with the divorce? Yeah, they, they're all about you. This is uh, something that's uh, transitioning a uh, matter of time here, this justice here. Let's see what the advice is for the relationship as a whole. Temperance, the Sag card. Okay, guys, this is the advice for your relationship as a whole. And this is telling both of you, if I was a marriage counselor, it'd be you and you. Take it down a notch, relax, give it a minute, everything's cool. This is why Sagittarius is cool. <laughs> Sagittarius card. It's like you're patient because everything's cool. So let me ask you this. If you stop and just like, think, just like, do you guys have fun together? Is it great making love? Are you attracted to them? When you move away from them, do you have a good feeling still? Uh, because that's, that's what temperance is about. You're patient. The only reason you're patient is because everything's okay. There's no problems. You got enough sleep, you got enough money, you got enough food, you got enough time to recreate, you got enough love. And so everything's cool. So I think it's kind of like, it's corny, but count your blessings, not your problems. That's what this is saying. Count your blessings, not your problems. Title, count your blessings, not your problems. Pisces, gotta remember that one. I never remember it. Maybe. <laughs> The Knight of Cups. What was I saying about a Knight? Don't show up with the Knight of Wands, but a Knight of Cups will do. <laughs> and this Knight of Cups is facing right towards the strength. You're going to give in. I was going to say, I mean, love bombing it may be, but you need it. And your advice, cross watchers, keep it coming. Like what I see is like you guys are sitting at a table and uh, public displays of affection. <laughs> PDAs are not your thing. And they're like in your lap and or you're in there, they're pulling you onto their lap and they're in your nuzzling you and kissing you and you're kind of like, and they'll just keep it coming, keep it coming. And that's just symbolic about these walls being up, this Knight of Pentacles. And they're gonna, they're gonna beat your walls down uh, with love and affection and you're eventually gonna give in. And your Knight of Pentacles uh, becomes a Knight of Cups. <laughs> and I love it. It's you. You're heading right in. So as the heart spread, and that's the outcome. And it's a very beautiful heart spread, actually. Um, <laughs> this person knows you. It doesn't matter that they're still going through this process. And it doesn't matter. Uh, you know this. It's all about heart. It's all about how you feel. Because ultimately, goddamn, you're feeling it. They, they finally break open your heart. Hey, welcome to Lionsgate. Taurus energy in Capricorn. What's uh, what's going on in Aquarius now? Uh, this Uranus Saturn thing. It's breaking up things and opening up things. Uranus wants to free us and open us, maybe to love. Great reading, guys. Thank you, Pisces.